Okay, hello and welcome back to Dangerous Minds. We're looking at Chris Watts and apparently the now untouchable one. Now, I have got to say, America, that I'm a little bit saddened by this because I would have thought your free speech laws allowed people's opinion on information that is out in the public. And I know there's a lot of YouTubers you American YouTubers who feel exactly the same way as me. So what is going on and why is this now unmentionable person untouchable? What is it about her that she has now been given some kind of elevated status that I don't, I don't understand? Uh, what has she done to deserve this? Have they identified as a certain type of person so, oh, they like her or something? What is going on over there that she has this privileged, untouchable status? Help me. I don't understand. In my opinion, well, is incredibly untrustworthy. And I'm not making that up. It's by her own actions. It's by her own words. It's words that we see. And... Her deletions and her stories that don't fit. Why aren't we allowed to talk about her? If we weren't allowed to talk about anybody else like that, half of, more than half, most of YouTube would go. Because so many channels are opinion channels. People hold a platform to air their opinion. That's what the crux of YouTube and the foundation of YouTube is built on. So please, someone explain to me what what is going on. Now, I'm just going to do a piece because I was going to do this video anyway before um, all this happened. Um, and so I'm going to put it out there. I'm just going to put it out there. I don't trust this person. I personally do not trust this person with the initials, the same as Nixon Kissinger. What has she got to hide that she is hiding now behind lawyers? The truth hurts. That's all I can say. The truth hurts. So if she's hurting, then I'm guessing... There's a lot of truth out there that she doesn't like. And I think we can see the damage control. I mean the damage control. Hello. Um, <clears throat> it's in her nature. It's what she does. Damage control. Why doesn't she just sit back and just say, well, yeah, they can say what they want. I know the truth. I think we know why she can't do that. Silence your opponents. Yeah, well, that's what she seems to be doing, isn't it? That she has so much power so quickly. Who's behind her? What's going on? Has someone been given her a big book deal? And it was given before they realised how disliked she was. And now they've got to stop the negative publicity because they're worried about no book sales. I don't know. Someone's behind her. Someone powerful is behind her. So what's really going on? It's kind of eerie. It's kind of eerie that she could get this kind of power in such a short time when she's such a, such a devious, suspicious type of person. In my opinion, based on words I've read from her. But it speaks volumes for the age that we live in. Anyway, despite all that, I'm still going to throw my two cents worth in and that's it. I did this before the drop, the censorship, whatever you want to call it, but I'm putting it in anyway. And I, I intend to do more direct from the transcripts. So basically, Chris's problem seems to have started when she got her claws into him, say, 
five weeks or so that he was alone living the bachelor's life and she made sure she got into his psyche and that was that. And by proxy, Jodi Arias comes to mind. From now on, that's what I'm calling her, by proxy, Jodi Arias. Chowson's by proxy, succubus, Jodi Arias. Got into Chris Watts' psyche like she got into, like, Jodi Arias got into Travis's psyche. But Travis wasn't nearly as gullible as poor old Chrissy boy, so unfortunately Travis didn't fare so well. And as I said, the shit really hit the fan when it came to those five or six weeks. That he was alone and Shanann was in North Carolina, visiting her parents and growing her downline base for her business. That's when... Jodie Aris, by proxy, grasped the opportunity with both hands and got her claws right into his psyche. Jodie Arias, she used sexual seduction and destruction to completely destroy him. Make no mistake, she's a devious, devious person. She says one thing, but you look at her phone records and they're completely different. And I believe she's now she's been given witness protection. I mean, really? Huh. I hope that's not true. Surely she wouldn't qualify, but now, hey, who knows? Anyhow, in my opinion, she's a lying, manipulative, devious piece of... Okay, just my opinion, but (laughs) she just comes across that way because everything she says is just so different from what we see behind the scenes. And why on earth would you delete all those messages? I'm sorry, Jodi Arias by proxy, but I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. And obviously a heck of a lot of other people aren't buying it either. Because you're not going to delete the messages if you're angry at him. If if you're angry at him, you're going to want to take the messages and use them against him. Hello. It was your own ass covering damage control. And I think we all know that. Don't we, Miss K- Jody Arias by proxy? And that's what your deletions were all about. Now, I read your interview, and you didn't come forward like. Amber Fryer came forward. She didn't know the guy was married. Hello. You not only knew the guy was married, you'd been in the marital home. You'd seen the kids' bedrooms. Okay, you say you didn't, but we know you did. Okay, so let's just let's just cut through the bull. And you could have gone around and asked the wife what was going on. Oh, yeah. And show me one mistress who's having can't get enough of him sex has ever said, oh, but you need to reconcile with your wife. Really? Yeah, that's believable. You knew all of this. Hello. You knew all of this. And then you say you got mad at him when you found out he was a liar? Hello? You were in his marital home. You were having an affair with him. You were lying to his wife by omission. He was lying to his wife by not telling her about the affair that you we're having with the husband. The, your whole relationship him with him was a lie. So don't tell me and the rest of the world that you got mad at him because you found out he was a liar. Um, what planet of denial are you living in? Or is it just planet hypocrisy? I, I'm not sure what it is, but there's some kind of disconnect planet between the one I'm living on 
and the one you're living on. So I'm just saying, really, can we have a little bit of reality check and have a look at the situation you were in and then may think that we can believe that you're angry because you found out he lied? Here's a little bit of advice from across the other side of the globe. Uh, let me just tell you that you know that therapist that you mentioned you needed? Get one. Get one quick. 